You might have noticed that I've kind of like gotten fond of putting books together. I mean, I've always been fond of putting books together. But in addition to, just a minute, let me just reach over. In addition to working in little paper notebooks like this one, I've also been making some, well, I've always made books, but th this one is the most recent. It's the one with the soft cover that you've seen on my blog that I use to provide a home for these samples. Um, so there's that one. I've made this one for my next little class. Might take this off actually, I don't know if I like it. That's like a securing sleeve thing. But this one's got all little stitched samples in, mounted stitch samples. Um, so I found these, well I didn't find them, I always knew they were there, but I've been thinking about these. These are all embroidered pieces. So there's three here, and my original intention with these three was to make a fourth for there and have it as like a just something decorative to hang around I guess um, I was never going to make it into a pillow or anything but then I've got these that are joined together so this is two so that's the first one okay and that's the second one and my intention a while ago was to join this to this and make it into some kind of folded book contraption um, and I started to do that but I wasn't happy with it so I unpicked this from here and I've kept that as two pieces though. And these three pieces, I'm not even going to attempt to unpick these because they're so um, joined in such a complicated manner that I can probably work with this and keep it together without taking it apart. But you probably noticed, let me get this back. I prefer the back of pages to be not necessarily lined, but acceptable visually okay um perhaps i was going to say actually perhaps not so much with this one but having said that they are um so they've all got work on the reverse so the reverse is equally as appealing as the front okay so with that in mind i'm going to try and fold a little bit with this and see if I can work something out. So the first thing probably is to fold. So that will most certainly fold down to there and form a reverse for that one. But then actually then that's going the wrong way for a book because then this one needs it. Although that be one page but then if I was to put something on there that's a page this would be a page I don't know that it would fold so well so let me see if I do this way so perhaps that one could be attached to there okay because what is visible there from the reverse of the one on the front is actually quite acceptable. In fact, no, I don't want to fold over this one, you see. So if I leave it like that, and then I could decoratively stitch those together, and then something for here. So maybe, and I'm also wondering, although I don't have anything to hand to do this with, if I could put something under there that that would go on top of so that that wouldn't look unusual and a bit raggy because of that so if I was to so let's say I'm going to do that and I'll try and find something to add under there so if I just pin those together for now see what I can do over here with this. So this one, that could perhaps go there. Actually this is happening a lot easier than I imagined. Tuck it under a little bit. 
So if that was under there, like that. Pen that. Need to find something for there. But that won't be difficult. Um, I'm not so fussed about it being perfectly square. And then so that, because it's important that that there, and I'll pull it along, that that stays like that, unless, so that's that page now, there's a pin in there, I don't know why there's a pin in there, <clears throat> let's put that one there, so that would be, like that, that would be like that, and then it's just this which could probably, this one, fold in on itself, tuck that under there like that, let's just pin this and then I'll unfold it because you might just be a bit confused at this point, thinking what's going where, <clears throat> if I just pin that, And you might think, well, you're going to have to stitch this and it's going to be visible, the stitching on the back of this, but I, it won't. I've got tricks for doing that, so it doesn't matter about that. Right, so let's see. You saw that. So maybe if I turn it this way. Because this one is the smallest here, that could fold in <coughs> like that for the first page. And then I'm not losing this edge thing I've done here. That could fold in like that. And then that could fold over like that. And I've got another little book. I actually quite like that as the front cover. Because that's my preferred piece. I mean I like them all but I really like this one. Um, so yeah so let me just recap. So what I need to do or what I'd like to do is get something to put under there that drapes down there. So that has to be joined there and also on the other side but like I say I'm not worried about that. I know what I'm going to do there. That's fine. <coughs> and then this one has to be joined here and again I could probably do it the same way as I'm going to do the this bit. So yeah, so I'll just go off now and try and find something to put under there. It just needs a hanky or something. Excuse me, the edge of a hanky. Now that is a bit raggy there where I've unpicked it. But I could just press that bit because there's no sewing on there so it wouldn't hurt to press that little edge. Yeah, and then I'm going to have another folded book but if I fold it like I said if I fold it this way now is it that one but then again no I like that one as well so maybe if I fold it like that that's the inside and then like that and then whatever I put on there will be part of the front cover as well. Oh, I'm really happy I've done that. I'm really happy I've managed to figure that out. Um, I think that'll work well. So whether it'll be done by the time you get this video on, I don't know. But rest assured, I'll be working on it. That is actually attached there, so I'll have to find something that will go under that edge there. Okay, happy days.